Hello guys, just wanted y'all to know I have not give, given up on the silicone. So what I decided to do, like I said, it's kind of hard to know when it's cured. So what I've been doing, even though I think I, the cure time says two hours, what I do, I'm doing base layers and I let one side sit 24 hours. I come back the next day and I do it. So now I'm starting to add my skin tone layers. And like I told y'all, a little goes a long way. Don't right away try to build up. I know a lot of people be wanting to get those darker babies. Let well, I me. Mean, so this is the tone where I'm at right here. So you got to build to that. You can't just up and jump and you be having a baby that's this nice chocolate brown. You got to build light layers and let each layer soak into the silicone and that makes it more realistic so that's what i'm doing and this right here is a baker sheet so that she don't stick to the towel and i learned with that uh setting powder you can't put that on to the dial it's fully cured that's why i got all them lumps and bumps she got to be fully cured where she's not sticky at all, then you could put the setting powder on there. And I'm like I'm telling you guys, I'm learning different steps from different people. So I don't even know everything that I'm doing, but I'm taking steps, slow steps, because uh, I thought I had ruined it. I put that powder in it, and she wasn't ready to take that powder, and all these little balls and flakes and everything had knotted up on her skin where it was so 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 visible but what i wind up doing was i had wind up scrubbing her down took a sponge and scrub 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 with dawn dishwashing liquid and gook off and i just kept scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing until i can get all that residue off of her so this is my first layer of skin tone. And like I said, I'm building layers. It's not just, I can't just put them on there quickly and expect for it to do what it needs to do. So, I'm going to try to cover her little part and show y'all what she's looking like. So, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, Jesus. That was dumb. <laughs> this is what she's looking like. So I'm starting to do the skin layers. Add them in. That phone almost went in the dishwater. So you got to be really, really careful. It was on the stand. But that's so far what I have. Um, and this got a cure into the vinyl. So little goes a long way. I don't make my paint really, really thick. I did that. And when I did it, that makes it look. Oh, horrible, 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 horrible. So I just dropped something in there. So, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to let this layer, cure, this layer cure 24 hours. So what I do, I take this, I take this cup right here, set it between our legs. So what I'm doing is preventing dust and stuff from falling on her while she's curing on the counter. And I put a barrier in between. And I'm going to let her cure like that for uh, 24 hours. And I'll come back tomorrow morning, check her, make sure she's cured flipper and do the same thing to the other side so the colors that i'm using now for my flesh tone i am using okay these are the colors that i'm using now i'm using a little bit of the flesh tone i'm using a little bit of the brown and i'm using a little bit of the yellow when i say a little bit a little bit and then i'm putting the psycho paint I'm putting the Psycho Paint A and B in there. And I'm using uh, Mona Lisa Odorless Paint Thinner. 
And remember, you don't stick the stick that went in A and B. You don't, you know, you have brand new sticks for each one. Little, very little goes a long ways. And you must, you must use latex free makeup sponges. If not, it is not going to cure. It's going to be bad. So I just wanted to let y'all know I didn't give up, but I'm taking baby steps with everything that I'm doing. Because the last thing I want to do is to ruin this kit and, you know, it won't be presentable for nobody. It'd be a Halloween baby and that would be a hundred and seventy some dollars down the drain. So take your time. And, and when you get ready to do this project, when you never did it before, it looks easy when they're doing it on there. But I will say these projects is very hard to do. Very, very hard to do. So mentally be prepared. Have your tweezers ready. Have things ready. Um, prepare yourself to get it done. So I just wanted to let y'all know that. And uh, you guys have an awesome day. I will see you guys. Um, I probably won't come back tomorrow because it's going to be the same thing with this skin layer. I'll come back with another steps because I want to bore y'all. Um, the same thing I did today. She's going to be flipped and I'm going to do a backside tomorrow with the same three colors and um, get that done. And then I'll come back to you guys the next day. And then I'll probably, uh, you know, because I want her to be um, kind of like a, a biracial baby. I, I'm, I'm kind of honestly, I'm scared to try to take her darker, darker, because if you go darker, darker and you don't do it right, it's going to be messed up. So even if you guys want to go darker, darker, I'm going to encourage you guys, just like the Reborn, don't take a whole bunch of paint and put that paint in there and put it on it because then all you're going to do is like, you know how you wear makeup and you cake all that makeup on your face and it don't look good, but if you take your makeup and build it in layers, it look better. So I encourage you guys, if you want a chocolate baby, you got to uh, take your time and build those layers up light 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 just keep going and then the more layers you put on the darker it's gonna get don't go a whole bunch of paint because that's what i did with that one paint and she was messed up and i was oh god that ain't gonna help it made it look cakey kind of look like i took some paint and painted it on her so the painting process don't look good at all always put a little bit in, and do the pouncing the same thing we do with the reborns so i hope this helped you guys on y'all journey the paint y'all reborn so i would say definitely mentally get prepared because it's when you put your hands on it you're going to be like oh my god it's just something you have to experience for yourself we can watch people all day on youtube and we see them do it and we see them grabbing them t tweezers and it's sticky and we be like oh and we look, oh, I can do that. You know what I mean? I'm still at the point where I'm trying to learn that fine mono rooting, where it's very little hair. And I didn't try it multiple times and stuff. So it's, I can do like a full head of hair. No problem where the girls can do the ponytails and all that. That's easier for me to do. But doing that fine mono rooting, you would think I'm somebody that ventilating. You think that it'll click in and I'm trying it. But what I think that what's going bad for me, I don't got that right uh mohair so a lot of the hair and i'm impatient a lot of the hair be coming from united kingdom and stuff like that so with covid and all that i'd be scared to send my money over at these places and some of it be coming out of turkey and with the stuff that's going on in ukraine i just be scared to have my money tied up because it's a possibility that a lot of stuff you might not get with a lot of things that's going on you got to file an appeal and if you got a paid order you wait you wait none then that money is over there stuck and you got to you know use your money now to replace your customer stuff and wait on a reimbursement so it's just hard for me to be sending and that's what probably all the good hair is is over there so if there's any farmers that's on this youtube if you guys have y'all lambs and the mohair and y'all got and i'm not asking y'all to slaughter y'all animals you know because you can you can harvest hair from the lamb and he can live because some of the some of the hair that i got i know that an animal died because the hide is on there so i know that there's no way that that poor little animal is alive so i'm not asking for an animal to be slaughtered but there's some lambs i've seen they got very long hair very long hair that grows and the owners just come and take that hair they grow them and brush them but they clean and take that hair without slotting you know taking the lamb's life so um 
that's the hair I want. I don't want the one with the hive. I don't want nobody to die. Not somebody for an animal to die to just to make a reborn. No. So you guys have an awesome day. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.